Somebody invited me to something. It was pizza and roller skating. So you like pizza? Yeah. You like roller skating? Yeah. Come to this thing. I went there and there were all of these, uh, you know, probably white kids. And they were nice. And somebody came up to me and they said, do you believe that there's one human race? That we should all be treated equally? I'm like, yeah. Do you believe this? And they, they asked me three questions like, do you think we should have respect each other? Do you think there's, you know, we all come from the same God? I don't remember the specific questions, but they are all the questions that only an idiot would say, no, I don't believe that I'm equal to you. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, yeah. And they said, well, you sound like a Baha'i. And I said, okay. And they said, they hand me a card. <laughs> and they said, well, you want to, would you sign the, you want to join us? I'm like, oh. and I thought it was a club. It was pizza and roller cake. I had no clue it was a religion. Because I asked, I said, are there some dues or anything you got to pay? They go, no. I'm like, sure. What's, what's the signature? They signed it. I never, I may have gone to one or two things. I don't even remember seeing those people. I don't even know who they were. But I started getting news, I started getting newspapers. You know, you used to have the newspaper. I never read them. I thought, this is a, this Baha'i club is a big club. I didn't know it was a religion, but somehow, there was a power in that word because I remember after I moved from the little town in New York to Rochester, which is kind of city, eventually I met, um, I used to do, put on some um, uh, fashion shows and I had a partner uh, and we would get clothes from stores and we had something, you know, we, we did these fashion shows. And so the lady that was my partner started going to uh, Baha'i Firesides and she kept saying, Barbara, oh, you should come to this. And she would say Baha'i and I was like, Baha'i? I said, I'm a Baha'i. She said, girl, you ain't no Baha'i. Because <laughs> um, I like the party. She was like, girl, you ain't no, you ain't no Baha'i. And I'm thinking, I think, how do you spell it? You know? And she said, well, come to a fireside. And I said, okay. But I, and she kept inviting, but I never went. Then I was going to do some voiceover work at a radio station. So I went in and I was talking to this guy who was the, worked at the radio station. And he was a Baha'i. I says, wow, this is interesting. I don't know how it must have come up. And I said, you know, I'm a Baha'i. But if you ask me who Baha'u'llah was, who Shoghi Effendi was, who Abdul Baha was, you could ask me any question that anybody that was a Baha'i, or even, <laughs> we didn't have internet back then. But I knew nothing. I just knew pizza roller skating, and I signed some card. <laughs> and there was a big group of people. So this guy was a Baha'i, and we became friends. And, and I said, tell me, at one point I'm saying, tell me about the Baha'i. Because he said, I said, I'm a Baha'i. He said, girl, you ain't no Baha'i. <laughs> Everybody's telling me you ain't no Baha'i. I said, well, tell me, what is a Baha'i? Now I want to know. Now I'm in my 20s. I want to know what is this Baha'i. He said, well, it's really deep. You wouldn't get it. That's what he said. He says, I said, well, you got to have a book. Everybody's got a book. Meanwhile, I had been in church and baptized three times, three different ways. So from this time I signed the card or before that, Pentecostal, Baptist, and even had another church, uh, one where once they actually dunked you in the water, one time they sprinkled, and then once it was different. I'm just like, keep, keep doing it because I want to feel this. I want to hear Gabriel's horn and all this spiritual stuff you guys say you get with religion. But still, I have this Baha'i friend. We're still doing fashion shows. She said, Barbara, come to the fireside, come to the fireside. Now, that, here's a church, here's the Islam. Now it's like, okay, now here's Baha'i. <laughs> And I, I, my job um, at Kodak at one point decided I, I, it was to transfer me to the Washington, D.C. area. And so I took the job and I said, OK, I'm going to be leaving. And she said, but you promised to come to a fireside. You never did. I mean, this is months. I just lied. I didn't know that truthfulness was the foundation of all human virtues then. <laughs> it was, I said what I need to say to survive. And so she, um, she was a little bit upset. I said, look. I know they have this newspaper. I know they're probably everywhere. Give me their information. I promise to look them up. I started going to firesides. And I had always wanted an, uh, an experience that said this is real. I was never one to play or pretend. I grew up in churches where the women would shout and fall out and do all that. I remember when they would act like they're going to fall, we would say, let's move and see if they really fall. Let's see if the Holy Ghost does, does hold them up. I mean, we're devious little kids, you know? And... Uh, but I would remember going to the firesides, and I love the fact that I could ask questions. This whole concept of independent investigation of truth. I said, wow, things started to make sense. I heard about progressive revelation, that there's one God, one race, one religion. I read the, the, uh, one of the hidden words that says, noble, I created thee. 
why dost thou abase thyself? That was the most profound thing I'd ever heard. Because I grew up knowing that, I, that Eve had it, bitten some, eaten some apple, so we as women were eternal sinners. I had read that black people, because of the story of Ham, you know, that we're cursed, you know. And, and um, society was treating us like we were less. And here, I was hearing some words that says, noble, I created thee. That it wasn't like something I had to earn through. It was clear that it was all one religion. Different bodies, different times, different names, but the same light. And I became a Baha'i. Well, I, 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 I had already signed my card, and I think it might have been like nine years before that. All of this period of time, literally, I kept like running a Baha'i, you're not Baha'i. I'm like, but, this, but here's again, the guy that, at the radio station, I said, give me a book and, and, or something. He, he said, there's a book called Thief in a Knife, but you wouldn't get it. It's too deep. He never gave me the book. So the first thing I wanted was, can somebody give me that book, Thief in the Night? And I read it. And I put, put the Bible next to it. And I'm like, oh, my God. Now, the biggest thing at that point, it was like, it was like my, my you know, it's, I use this concept. The, the furniture was being rearranged in my head. Nothing was where it used to be. Because now I'm seeing life through new eyes. At, at that moment when I got it, you know, I began to change. My behavior became the change. My values began to change. I became a new person. Because I would fight you in the back, back then. I would cuss you out. I mean, literally. I mean, I just, <laughs> it was, I, was a different, I was a different person back then because I had to protect myself. You know, growing up, you know, there was all kinds of abuse, sexual abuse. I mean, I went through all kinds of abuse. I'm not even going to go into it because it'll be too sad. But I learned that, you know, when you see that angry black woman, maybe there's a reason she's being angry. You know, nobody goes to war, um, if, especially if people are throwing, have been shot before without putting on their armor. And so when you see that black woman who's angry, maybe it's the armor because she's trying to protect what little dignity, what little hope. You know, I've been to the edge so many times that I know that, okay, I can't go there, so I've got to protect myself. I'd rather you think I'm tough and not bother me than to dis discriminate against me, oppress me, say something, you know, uh, that's going to, 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 to hurt me. And so that was kind of my spiritual journey, and I became a Baha'i.